Hey guys, so today I'm going to talk about my favorite hardest working sunscreens. I've been asked about a lot lately what is, in my opinion, the best sunscreen for very sunny days, long days outside, hot days, high UV days. So, I've got a whole list. Lincoln is standing by. There he is. Taking a nap because it's hot, hot as heck outside today. Uh, it's like a hundred. So, anyway. Okay, so let me start out. Best, hardest working sunscreen for people sweating or exercising. And uh, this is a big one I've been asked about. Outside, I'm sweating, it's hot out. What's the best hard working, hardest working sunscreen? In my opinion, for those that are sweating, outside, exercising, things like that, this is the best. It's just, I've been using it now quite often. Like if I go for a little run, kind of running a little bit, walking. Uh, this is the one I go for because uh, Anessa, the Shiseido, owned by Shiseido, has some technology where they say that if you're sweating, it makes the sunscreen work harder and better. So I'm going with it, and so far, so good. So hasn't failed me yet, but love it. And it's also the fragrance-free version. So I will link to the entire list below. Hopefully, I have enough space. So, okay. Uh, then another good one for sweating, uh, the Ali Kenbo or the Alley Liquid. You can't go wrong with either of these. I love them both. Uh, this, These are both fragrance-free options. This one's more of like a milk. This one's more of a gel texture. They're both wonderful. Can't go wrong with either of them and really enjoy them and hardworking. Okay, next up for people that spend long days outside. And let's be honest, not everyone is great about reapplication. It's just a fact. So I'm going to acknowledge it. You should reapply it, but for those that just don't, won't, can't, whatever, or just bring a mist or whatever. But anyway, uh, the Evie uh, Daily Face Sunscreen Mousse is wonderful. SPF 50, it's got a mousse texture. They also have a uh, kid's version. They have an SPF 30 version. This stuff is pretty darn good, and I've used my UV camera to test how it works throughout the day, and it does last better than a lot of other ones, but you still need to reapply because using the UV camera, you can see every two hours that the, uh, when you apply sunscreen, it's protecting, your face will look black, and then throughout the end of the day, it looks uh, more and more white or clear, and that means you're getting less protection. So this one's a great one for those that are just stubborn, won't reapply. Okay, the best, hardest working day-to-day -day sunscreen, which may not be like as elegant as people love, but a good, great one for day-to-day, -day. the new La Roche-Posay UV Immune uh, SPF 50 Shaka. This stuff's great. They have a fragrance version, an unfragranced version. They also have a tinted version. Uh, I have the fragrance-free version. I love it. It does have denatured alcohol, and my skin's a little dry, so I can't necessarily use it every single day. But uh, three or four days out of the week, I can use it. I'm fine without getting dry or anything like that. So really great one. Um, next up, a mineral option, because a lot of, most of these... A lot of these are chemicals, chemical sunscreens. And so for those that want a hardworking mineral version, the HelioCare Tolerance Mineral Fluid is wonderful. It also contains that polypodium leucotomus, which is just an amazing skin-protecting ingredient, antioxidant. You can also take in the HelioCare pills, but this is a great mineral sunscreen. It has a nice tint to it. So um, anyway, that one is wonderful. Um, Another mineral option, the Shiseido Allerberry, Aller, Allerberry? Allerberry or Cream, or the Essence version. I love both of these. They're both mineral. They do have a white cast. If you're going to use them under, like, uh, foundation or something, it'll be less noticeable. But you know what? I guess I'd rather have a white cast than get burnt or have more skin damage because I've already got enough of that. Okay, so for oily and acne-prone skin types, I've got a few options. The Elta MD UV Clear SPF 46 is always ranking up there pretty darn good. It's a combo mineral chemical sunscreen. It has no real white cast. It has a little bit when you apply it, but once it sinks in, it's pretty much gone. No fragrance in it. It has some nice uh, acne-fighting ingredients, such as niacinamide, which is a little more exciting like three years ago before niacinamide showed up and everything. But anyway, still a good one. Uh, next up for oily and acne prone skin, we've got the, I haven't reviewed this one, I should, the Abib Heartleaf, Heartleaf Sun Essence Calming Drops SPF 50, really elegant, uh, nice feeling, some nice skin calming ingredients in there as well, which makes it really great for uh, acne prone skin, and uh, if you want me to review it, leave a comment, I don't think I've reviewed that one yet. 
And then uh, last for oily and acne prone skin, the Daylong Extreme SPF 50 uh, Sunscreen Milk, which is really nice product. Uh, no fragrance in it, no denatured alcohol, really works nicely. And I definitely will review this because I haven't reviewed anything from this brand yet. So anyway, they have a lot of good sunscreen options. Okay, so moving on to dry skin types. First up, the Round Lab Birch Sun Cream SPF 50. I love it. It's the reformulation. It's amazing. It feels just like applying a lotion onto your skin and really does a good job protecting your skin. Really enjoying this reformulation. Uh, next up, the Hello Sunday, the Everyday One Face Moisturizer with SPF 50. They also have a serum one, which is wonderful. They're coming out with a lot of stuff recently. So, uh, so far, all their sunscreen products are fragrance-free, but they've come out with a few other things that don't look totally fragrance-free. So, anyway, sticking with our sunscreen so far. And then last but not least for dry skin, the newer Summer Fridays Shade Drops Mineral Sunscreen Milk. Uh, really nice, uh, great sunscreen this is probably, in my opinion, for me, going to end up being more of a winter sunscreen uh, just because of the SPF 30 in it, but it's still going to be pretty darn good on an average day if you're not out a whole ton. But um, anyway, next up for some budget-friendly options. Da -da -da -da, the Isn't Tree Watery Sun Gel. It never fails. It's amazing sunscreen. Really great. Amazing filters and the... They, even better part is how many good antioxidants and skin protecting ingredients they included into this formula. And still one of the few K-Beauty sunscreens that hasn't had any issues. So there we go. And it's pretty affordable. Uh, next up, the Vertio UV Moisture Gel, also made by the brand Omi. Uh, this one retails around $14. Really wonderful. No fragrance in it. And so far I've been testing it without any issues and really enjoying it. And then coming in at about $12 is the SVR Sick of It, Sick of it Soothing Protective Anti-Mark Sunscreen SPF 50, around $12. I'll link to that one uh, below as well. Well, we're checking out. Really, really enjoy this one from SVR. Uh, favorite body sunscreen. I've been testing this one quite a bit now, and it's the Eucerin Advanced Hydration Sunscreen Spray SPF 50. I've been testing it without any issues, uh, so... Yeah, there we go. I just, you know what, putting it on my body is just tricky. Like if I exercise or something on my body, then I'll get sweat. Anyway, whatever. You don't want to hear all about that. I'll save it for another day. And then favorite combo mineral chemical sunscreen is Can Make. Uh, they have a clear version. They have a white version. And then they just came out with a mint version. No fragrance in it. No alcohol in it. Really wonderful. Have been using this off and on for a long time without any problems at all. And then two runners up, I just want to mention... Bioderma, they have some amazing sunscreens. I don't know why anyone didn't make the list this year, but they still do. You can't go wrong with most of them. They're wonderful. And then uh, the Altruist, this is the Groom, Groom Beauty version. It's the Altruist sunscreen, which contains an amazing amount of filters. And there's still one sunscreen that I really still want to test, the Norman UV Cure sunscreen. Uh, maybe someday I'll get to test it, but super expensive to get it here and more difficult than some of these. So... Anyway, there we go with favorite hardest working sunscreens for every situation and skin type. Uh, anyway, interest hearing from you guys if you have a favorite or one that I didn't mention. Uh, leave a comment. Love hearing from you guys and stay tuned for more tomorrow. Thanks so much. Lincoln is totally out like a light. So there we go. Floor's a little dirty. Usually I clean on Mondays, but this Monday I didn't clean because I took the boat out and I was too tired. So I'll clean Monday, next Monday. It's like four days away, so. Okay, thanks so much. Bye, guys.